three years in a row. An award she secretly threw in the dumpster behind her local Kentucky Fried Chicken on her way home. When the children of St. Cassian signed Constance's yearbook, they wrote things like, Wow, you seemed so nice. Or, I never really met you. You seemed friendly. Those pages in Constance's yearbook were carefully removed with an X-Acto knife and burnt. Constance Blackwood, the nicest girl in town. I lost my virginity to a, par to a carny in a porta potty before I died. Like three hours before. It was kind of porno. He was like ancient, like 32. <laughs> and he had this tattoo on his forearm. It was of two skeletons having sex. And it said, born to bone on the bottom of it. <laughs> Isn't my tattoo the stupidest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> I fake laughed when he said that because you should always laugh at guys' jokes or they'll think you're a cow. My mom and dad own the Blackwood Cafe in town. It's been in our family since, like, forever. The Blackwoods have been feeding Uranium City since they opened the mines. My family had pride when it came to that. Till I went to high school. And having pride about our town was only like the lamest thing you could think to believe. After a while, I started feeling kind of crummy about stuff, like ashamed. At the cafe, I would catch myself looking at my mom and thinking, what a loser. A stupid dead end loser in a stupid dead end town. My parents were good people. And all I could do was think horrible things about them. I really wish I'd never thought those things. I got so angry that I was born in the only family in Uranium that raised their kid to think it was okay to do your working, living, and dying there. And it, it got all kinds of poison after that. Anyway, my virginity. I just wanted to get it out of the way. I just wanted to do it so I didn't have to think about doing it anymore. No. Actually, I just wanted to lose it in the most horrible possible way. Constance the Lifer lost it to a carny in a crap box in a crappy town. Why, of course she did. And then I rode the cyclone with the other kids in the choir. And that's when the accident happened. We were at the top of the loop when the roller coaster made this kind of screaming metal sound. Sparks were shooting all over the place and then the screaming and the sparks just stopped. And it was like this. Weightlessness. My heart jumped a gazillion beats a second, but I didn't scream like the other kids, no. I was just soaking it all in. Because on a certain level, it was so rad. And it was like something unlocked in me. My heart welled up with all this love for everything. Images and all this feeling flooded into me, like, like climbing back into my bed in the morning and feeling the heat left over from my body. Hanging upside down from the monkey bars until my head starts to tingle. Oh, smelling jiffy markers. <laughs> Putting glue on my fingers and chewing it off. Listening to music and, and dancing around my room before going out to a party and pretending I'm going to have the perfect time. Finishing an essay, I'm doing a knot, pizza night, Halloween, watching my baby brother dance naked to Abba, <laughs> being in the choir at the height of the Hallelujah Chorus and feeling all the voices rattle my bones. <laughs> I started laughing like a crazy person, giddy with endurance. 
endorphins, all dancing leprechauns and rainbows and unicorns, streams of chocolates, whirling rides, flashing lights. There's no shame in loving my small town. The only good things that happened to me happened in uranium. It took a horrible accident for me to realize how goddamn wonderful everything is. I used to think that life was just a jawbreaker. Yeah, you suck, and you suck, and you suck, and you suck, and you suck some more. Yeah, you suck some more. At first it seemed so sweet, and the colors come and go, like the seasons come and go. The slush and rain and snow till you can't taste no more. So you suck some more. I used to think that life was just a heartbreaker that just breaks and it breaks and it breaks and it breaks till you can't break it no more. Till you can't take no more. Yeah. 